Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're in Nace here in Kildare. You might see the mausoleum behind me, the pyramid shaped mausoleum owned by the De Berg family. Uh, we're here in Modern Cemetery. We have been in here before. They were doing it up. So I thought we'd come back and check on how far they've gone with the, the project. And uh, we're going to explore this cemetery as well. So this cemetery dates to 1780 by donation uh, by John Burke, first Earl of Mayo, and it was enclosed in 1782. The West Pyramid, which I believe is this one, was built in honour of Anne de Burgh, wife of Walter Hussey Burgh, while the East is unmarked but believed to belong to another member of the de Burgh family, and you can see that just there. It is thought uh, the pyramid mausoleum, mausoleums excuse me, date back from around 1840 and one was built by the De Berg family, later known as the Bergs, D-E-B-U-R-G-S, um, who can trace their origins back to Emperor Charmaine or Charlemagne in the Middle Ages. Thomas Berg was born in 1670 and settled in Old Town here in Nace in the early 18th century. He actually became a surveyor general for Ireland and was responsible for designing one of, the, um, of Ireland's most highly regarded architectural interiors, the long room in the library at Trinity College. His daughter Elizabeth married Ignatius Hussey of Don Orr Cara and they adopted the name Hussey Berg. Now, these have been restored by the Follies Trust, which uh, they, I think they've conserved around 26 structures in Ireland. And this is absolutely amazing. And we're going to take a closer look at these now. So you can see the structure has been restored. This was uh, completely covered like in ivy and stuff. We actually have a number of um, headstones here. This is actually at the Berg. Um, Mary the Berg, greatly loved wife of Major General Eric de Berg, born 6th of March 1895, died 1934. Um, and, her, and of her devoted husband, General Sir Eric de Berg, born 10th of May 1881. Um, so was she married twice? It says Mary de Berg, greatly loved wife of Major General Eric and then of her devoted husband, General Sir Eric de Berg. But one is March 1895, the other is 1881. One died 14th of June and the other 1973, so possibly... Yeah, it was probably a thing back then. Here. Both husbands. This is a beautiful one, the cross here in the middle. And it's Edward J. de Berg. He was only 22 when he fell asleep in Christ, October 18, 18, 80 something, I think that says there. Look at that tree, the size of the tree, it's huge. And it just gives lovely shelter to all of these headstones. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's keep going. You can hear the crunching underfoot. They're like acorn shells, a bit of ASMR in a cemetery. But this is the door. And you can imagine that just goes down in underground. Very similar, of course, to the pyramids. Family crest there. Family crest there. Not going to be able to really see it. It looks like two, a dog and... It won't even show with the light, unfortunately, but I'd imagine it's the De Berg family crest. So the door obviously is, is new. And I will kind of put up some photos of what we found prior to the group that came in to do it up. Now this says keep clear and no wonder, look at this. I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit, see, you can just see let I try and get through the fence a little bit. Whoops. Uh, 
um, what I can see, I suppose, it's actually almost, there's a lot of muck in the centre, but it's almost like a tunnel shape. But you can see the interior of the walls there. And I'm not sure, little girl saying hello to us. Um, hi! <laughs> there's, it's actually built up area here right around it. But I'm not actually sure, does that lead into the pyramid or what? I won't show the little girl on the video. Uh, but she was saying a lot was from the balcony there. As I said, we're completely surrounded by houses. This is another amazing vault. This one is locked. Um, not an awful lot to see, really. Just in there, if I can zoom in, you can see a gate. I won't actually... Yeah, it's a gate and behind that is a big iron door. But it would be quite cool to go in there and have a, a little look around, wouldn't it? Yeah. So that's one of the, the Berg mausoleums there. Um, unfortunately, the area is really overgrown. Now, it's quite pretty because we have lovely um, flowering weeds, buttercups and what have you. But it is unfortunate. The last time we were here, the grass was much lower. And um, we actually have a huge area down here as well, all gated. I'm presuming there also the bergs are of some relation to them. But we might leave that till the end of the video. But I want to bring you to the second pyramid. Now this one doesn't have a name over it. But um, it is believed that it is also the de Bergs. Now to find our way around. Obviously people have been here because some of the areas, you have to be careful where we're walking, but some of the areas are um, trodden down. There was someone here the last time we were here and cutting grass. Yeah, there was. There was someone here the last time cutting grass and I don't know whether they're going to do that again or what's the story. Um, this is, as I said, the second mausoleum also the Berg. You can see the extensive repair that has gone into this. I mean, it must have cost a fortune um, to kind of, not only to build it, but then also to repair it. Um, once again, these doors, I presume there's steps behind there and they just go right down. We do have a little opening here but I don't think we're going to see anything at all, unfortunately. But um, that's the best I can, it's just black dark in there. There doesn't seem to be an awful lot in there from what I can see with my own eye. They're not really heavy duty They're not duty really heavy duty doors, no. But um, it just looks like it's a big empty space. So I'm presuming that the coffins are right down below uh, their underground or, you know, placed below ground level but it is a stunning mausoleum and you know obviously they have built these to um replicate the pyramids in egypt obviously yeah i think there were a lot of those people back then like the deborgs and they would have traveled to egypt yeah and saw a pyramid and you know, fell in love with this pyramid and decided they wanted that as a final resting place. Wow. A yeah, what, what a bad, you know, it's not a bad um, place to stay after your day in a beautiful coffin, I can imagine. So you can see the area, as I said, it's completely overgrown. We have some sort of paths. Um, we might go this way first we'll see if we can get around to another few headstones i'm a little bit annoyed that it's not kept that the ground is not kept lower or the grass i should say because it is absolutely gorgeous there's no kind of pathway over to the railed area is there one here even oh hold on now i've just remembered there is a newer graveyard directly beside this you literally walk in so that's why this path is there because it's bringing you into the new cemetery but the old one certainly needs 
someone to come in now with a, a weed eater or a weed whacker as you call it to trim all this down. Wow, look at that cross. This is in memory of William Hargraves, Esquire, MP, in the city of Dublin, fellow and ex-president of the Royal College, College of so. Surgeons, Ireland. Um, he died the 24th of November, 1874, aged 70. His wife is here then as well, Elizabeth. Wow, look at that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. So tall. It's probably the tallest one of this kind that I have seen. I've also noticed and just remembered as well. It's over a year ago since I was here. Firstly, just look at the ivy and the rails. That is absolutely gorgeous. But look at the headstone. It is a beautiful angel. And she is gorgeous. She's holding a little bouquet of flowers. Let us see if I can get around. Um, Gladys Mary, I believe it says. Can you see a date? Dearly Let I just... beloved and only daughter of Colonel Patterson. So dearly beloved and only daughter of Colonel and Mrs. Patterson. I just want to see the angel. Wow, look at her. And that's GV there, just catching a glimpse from there. Her robe is slightly falling off her shoulder. It's just so beautiful. And do you know something, even with the ivy clinging on, it kind of adds to it slightly. And then under this green, green tree, it's just absolutely magnificent. You can see her wings there as well. In memory of Gladys Mary, dearly beloved and only daughter of Colonel and Mrs. Patterson. Um, something who died at who Nace, died at Nace Barracks. Barracks. The 19th of September 1902. 1902. Um, is there an age on that one? There's no age. I think it's just like a little verse at the end. So I've just zoomed in for you. As you can see it's those lead letters. Sometimes I wonder... Uh, these angels, statues, some of them are made to, to, in likeness of the person maybe that died or face. Oh That's yes, so the angel is kind of carved to their likeness. So Gladys may have looked like this beautiful angel here. Absolutely stunning. Right, so this is the, the newer cemetery that I kind of covered more in my last video here so if you want to check that out absolutely do i mean there is something very very beautiful about the long grass as long as there's no nettles you know i don't like nettles wow look at that for a, a chain that is strong isn't it that goes right around this amazing cross but we're actually in a we're pretty near a very, very busy town. You can barely hear the cars driving past. It's, it's so peaceful. It's like we're just here, uh, you know, in somewhere very, very isolated. Look at the trees. The trees are all starting to bloom. Wow, look at those. All right, anybody down below, tell me what tree it is. This is gorgeous. Wow. That is gorgeous. It's like one of those plants that you um, have on a trellis. Wow. The last time, is this the same area? The last time I was here, or we were here, we actually, maybe we can't. I won't say anything now before I know. It's trodden down. Yeah, the last time this was all tied off and we couldn't get in. Do you remember? Yeah. There's a big What's headstone here. Name, John Bob. John Bob Goff. 18, 1866, aged 54, also of his wife Eleanor. Yeah, Bob. John Bob Goff. 
Their son is there as well, John and his wife Elizabeth. I wonder if they're connected into this yeah, this area. This is like a, a forest all on its own, isn't it? The railing is all attached there to the Gosh, it's kind of creepy actually, do you know that? Are we going in? <laughs> yeah, we are. Of course we are. Ouch. Okay, you're going to ha have to bear with me now. We have not only stingy nettles, but we also have, oh, thorns. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Are you in? Ouch. <laughs> if bramble stuck to my arm. Hold on. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Are you in? We're in. We're in. Oh, my God. Look at this. Wow. Look Whoa, at this. look at that. There's actually a plaque up over it. Um, oh, no. maybe that's better, is it? Something as constructed by... This fault. Oh, yeah, sorry. This fault was constructed by John Fort Earl of Mayo to contain the mortal remains of ancient family of Burke. His ancient family. Family of Burke, 1843. AD 1843. Wow. Gosh, look at that. That is kind of creepy. Is there steps down? Wow, they're so steep. Look at them. Now, it's I can see like the gate is there and it seems to be welded shut. And it's like the, it's chained to a big black, I don't know, is it a, like a door maybe? I suppose it is. There's a an iron gate, but then there's an iron door behind that. So wow. there was two kind of doors going in. Or did they put the second door in? more recently or something the first the, iron one like, look at the construction of the, the roof there oh my god it's just gorgeous oh the all the brambles are look at that guys that is stunning isn't it wow let's just have a look I'm not sure i'm going to make it down those steps but if i can i will but i want to have a little explore i'm just presuming now we have um do you think there's headstones in here can't be all this huge surrounded area with a rail the whole way with nothing else in here but that vault. So usually in these enclosed railed areas you will find headstones. I'm not seeing anything. That's the roof of the oh look, yeah. Wow, it's huge. So this part here, if you can see where I'm from here, Start to kind there. of here is like the entrance down into that door. The door then starts here and this is the whole vault. And look at the very end of it there, you have a tree either side. Oh yeah, so maybe they were just little like shrubs when they were um, planted first. Wow, this is amazing. I don't see any headstones. It's quite unusual that this whole area was for just this vault like. I think there's loads of room there for other stuff. I've just noticed a hole, possibly a vent, maybe. Um, I want to take a look and then I'll come back to that. But this is all just behind. You probably can't see it now. There's a high wall there and just behind that is actually um, people's gardens. It's really well built up with um, lots of homes and estates. Yeah, look at the tree. It's right to the edge of it. That's the edge of the vault. Right, curiosity has got the best of me. I'm going to have to take a look. But I'm going to take you off the gimbal because it's just too... Unless... Hold on. I won't take you off yet. Hopefully I won't lose my phone. What I might do is put you out on the telescopic arm and see if you'll fit in and you won't, I bet you. Will it fit in? Oh, don't let me phone fall. Okay, hold on. Maybe... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no. There is coffins there. I'm going to have to take the phone off the gimbal. Sorry, guys. We just can't manage everything. Just bear with us. Now all you can see is my finger, of course. Okay. I'm trying to get a shot. Those are actually coffins just on top of that ledge there. Right there, guys, you can actually see stud-lined coffins. Just there. I know the lighting is not great. I'm using the torch. 
from my phone. Right, so guys, you're off the gimbal, so you'll have to excuse the shaky hand. I'll do the best I can. So we got some sort of a glimpse there. Um, let me see. How are we going to get around here? I want to see how long. We'll keep this rolling. Whew. Wow, look at that. Once again, sorry guys, a bit shaky. It's off the gimbal. Look at that. That is the back of it. One tree, two tree. The roots must be going straight down into that, I'd imagine. It's quite big. Wow, this is all the roof. This is quite amazing, actually. We have another hole there, actually, look. Will we have a look? Yeah. Let's see if we can see anything. There on your left is coffins. Oh yeah, that's the, the coffins we were seeing. I'm going to turn you upside down, try and flip you a bit. See anything? No. There's one coffin. Nice guys, these are upside down probably. There's the coffins. Right. You might be able to see that that is a huge thigh bone. Just there where the light is catching it. You can clearly see it there now. But unfortunately, I can't really get the everything working the way I wanted to do. That is the, there guys, they are coffins. Look at that. That's a good view now of them. As my hand is shaking. Oh, stud lined. All stud lined coffins. That is quite amazing. Wow. So these are like, I don't know, are the vent holes or something. I'm sorry guys, my hand is really shaky without the gimbal. There's a grate there at one time or something. Oh, maybe, yeah. So we found possibly three and definitely more coffins just in there. In that area and a huge thigh bone for sure right let's have a look at this door again i'll turn you back on when we get back out this door is intriguing now i'm gonna to have to have a little nosy in i think i'd manage that it's worth going down and having a closer look at that vault right guys i'm actually going to put you on pause there for a second and turn you back on when i get down there yeah, there's a... Sorry, I just turned this back on. I'm going to hold on to the wall as I go down. There is a smell of... Ooh, the walls are wet. I know what they're saying now. Send GV in. Yeah, GV, get in there. I have to do the torch. <laughs> well, I need the torch down here. <laughs> just mind those vines, you don't trip on them. Now, there's a bit of rubbish down here. I'm coming down. You have to. You've no choice. I'm coming down, guys. Wow, it's so cold down here. Oh. Yeah. It's very slant those steps. Right, wow, we're just smelling must here. Oh. Let's have a look. Okay, we can't really see a whole lot. Oh, there's a coffin right there. Oh, Shine, show me that torch for a sec. We could nearly touch it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Stood like Gosh. Like the torch is actually too bright for the camera. I might just use the light off my phone. Right, where did I see it? Just there, actually. Is it showing up for them? I'll have to let you in there. Right it's there. Oh my goodness. It's just inside the door on the left. That's a coffin, guys. Wow. Look at that. So they're all over, scattered all over the crypt. Must be. They're on shelves everywhere. They're all on shelves, yeah. These are the big shelves. That's the coffin. Gosh, you could nearly touch it. Just hold that torch for a sec. I'm going to see if I'm getting my better off view even. No, I don't need your torch. Oh, guys, what can you see in there? Holy moly, hold on. I'm going to have to do this right. 
I'll zoom out. What about that hole in the door there, do you think? No, it's too dirty. I'm just going to slip this in here, guys. No, it's lit up in there. I can see the roof. In there and everything. Okay, taking the phone off the gimbal again, guys. I can get you as a good shot of this. Right, phone is off the gimbal, guys. Too kind. There he is, go. Wow, that is a full shot of inside. I won't really see till after edit what you are seeing. But we have one coffin right there. I could actually nearly touch it. Oh, wow. Gosh, look at that. That is quite amazing. I'm just trying to over top. I'm going to go. Sorry, guys, I'm going to leave his recording. Go down with your torch a bit. Can you put it in over my camera? Oh. Over my arm. It's lighting up. We can see lots of coffins, guys. I wonder if I zoomed in a bit. But I give you a better view. There. Wow. Oh my goodness. Is there another door underneath those coffins? I don't know. There's another passage right there. Do you see that? Oh yeah. Just there, underneath. Wow. Wow, this is worth coming down. Amazing, guys. Right, so these are the steps. These are always going up. Says she as she falls. <laughs> no, my luck. I'm going to actually turn around to show you. Um, sorry, now I'm just going to get a shot of you. Just here, guys. This is the door. We've read it already, but it says... This vault was constructed by John, 4th Earl of Mayo, which is the west of Ireland to contain the mortal remains of the ancient family of Burke, A.D. 1840, I think that is. Or, oh, 49. it could be, or 46. Hard to see that last digit, it could be. Actually, it could look, be a 45. 1845, 18, I think it's 43. It's 1843, you can just barely see the top of the, the tree there. That's the door. Super crypt, isn't it? Oh, it's just amazing. But as I said, the last time we were here, this place wasn't accessible. But today, we Sorry, got in. Give me a hand. Please. Back out. Okay, hold on now. Oh, it's the, look at the walls, guys. It's that green algae, mossy, we're black, dark, yucky, ow, wet. I'm out, thanks. Oh. oh we are I'm just look at your jumper. The, I'm covered in the eighteen hundreds, guys. <laughs> that is amazing. Like we'll fix it back the way we had it. We had to pull back the ivy slightly. So, a step back in time. Literally a step back in time. Literally. That is absolutely outstanding. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm so glad we decided to come back to see what the pyramids were like because I wonder where the original door was for here. There surely was one here. I don't, ma I don't know. It probably can, was open. I can see the this part here. Oh, maybe there was. Or there was a gate attached. Could have been, yeah. So I wonder, was that iron gate that's down there, was that up here? Oh, possibly. It's hard to know. The railing. Right, right let's get back out. It is sticky hot in there. There's a part of the old railing. Oh, there. yeah. Bit on the ground there. I don't know what it is, you'll see it. It's just there on the ground. Hard to see with the leaves. Oh, very, no. very interesting. No family left anymore. To no family left to maintain. No. Or it would be nice to see that with a... When you see the mountain wow, the heat. finished. Oh, look at my phone. My phone is covered in dust. One second, guys. Right, so we are back out into the land of the living, even though we are surrounded by death. What amazing structures. Um, 
I can't believe the, the way they're able to repair those mausoleums and back in the day how they created them. I did promise you we'd walk over to the rails before we go and we will do that quickly. And then we are hitting the road. If we can get in here. There is no path. There is no trodden ground. Oh, there is one here. Is there? Ah, brilliant. We have some... When I say new, this is 1961. Um, a few little places dotted around. The sun has come out to play. Making this adventure absolutely amazing. This gate looks locked. Have I stuff in my hair? <laughs> I have bits and pieces in my hair. It's actually not locked, but there's a chain on it. So these are all the Berg. Some of them I would imagine are just Berg as the name changed. We might even see Hussey Berg. Uh, we have a Captain Hubert the Berg, a Major John the Berg. Wow, this whole area is obviously like a little private burial ground for the, the Bergs. Fascinating stuff. And these would tie into the headstones on the outside and to this amazing mausoleum there. Hugo Graham the Berg. We have some. Thomas Burke Esquire. or Berg um, Esquire. So it's kind of a mixture of the Berg and Berg, depending on when the name changed. This is Jane the Berg. We have a Henry the Berg, 1871 there for Jane. What's this one? Odo Ulick. That's a strange name. First name, Odo Ulick, son of George and Mary Frances Constance de Berg, 1852 to 1855. So just a baby. Odo, yeah. Odo. Is it Odo? I presume I'm right. Odo. Odo Ulick. So that was his first name because he was also at the Berg. Now these could be Pharaoh ancestors of the famous singer Chris de Berg. Maybe Henry de Berg, Jane because de Berg, Francis de Berg. Chris de Berg's mother actually lives in Wexford. Yeah, in a castle. In a, huge, in, um, a big castle in Wexford. And she was de Berg, but she married a Davidson. So it could be that the name. And he was a colonel. Yeah. Because I don't hear too many de Berg. That's surname. It's either Burke or Berg nowadays. So the name has changed over the years. But that's it, guys. Let's try get back out. Um, and fingers crossed they do something with the area. Maybe make a few more paths around if they want to keep the wildlife, scenery, and bees and butterflies. Just a, a fun fact, just to mention that Christa Berg's mother, who lives in Wexford, she was very close friends with Lord Mountbatten. And they were very friendly and they used to go to dinners and functions together. Mm. Fun fact by GV. We're going to have to start adding them to the videos now. Fun fact by GV. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was such an adventure. I'm wore out. I'm covered top to tail in ugh, yuck. I'm going to have to show you this. Cobwebs. <laughs> we're bored. It's probably in my hair. But what a glorious day it has turned into. We are filthy. I hope we don't have to go for coffee anywhere because we won't be let in. Anyway, guys, thanks a million for watching. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a like. It helps the algorithm pick up on the videos. But for now, guys, from beautiful Nace on this beautiful day and the beautiful the Berg mausoleums and that fantastic crypt of the Earl. Take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you all again soon.